Hello, Scorpio. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. It's going to be a general um, reading for the month of May. Cross watchers are welcome. What's coming in for Scorpio, please, this month of May? From now until the end of May. Give me a full, clear reading for Scorpio for this month of May, please. What is coming in? I feel like it could be some challenging challenges trying to complete a goal here for you, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of you guys could be trying to figure out what your next creative move will be. I feel like somebody is very zoned in on a reconciliation. Pisces, Libra, Sagittarius is here so far. I feel like somebody is um, wanting to ask to reconcile. This could be you, Scorpio, or someone else. Leo is showing up as well. There could be a new opportunity coming in for you, Scorpio. Let's see here. So you're expressing something about being alone or by yourself or some sort of independence here. Um, like I said, I feel like somebody is zoned in on reconciling or trying to figure out how they're going to bring in balance here. I feel like there is a message coming in from a mother figure or a boss figure. Somebody could be offering more. Offering you more, Scorpio. I feel like whatever is being expressed was unknown or somebody was not aware. Of this because they were so focused on something else. Yeah. So, Scorpio, somebody here could be healing this month of May from now to the end of the month. After discovering that they are going to be single or alone or take time for themselves. I feel like somebody was definitely confused about thinking somebody was coming back, coming back together as a family. Definitely um, may receive, end up receiving more from something too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, somebody walking away from a situation was unexpected to another individual. This has caused like many negative thoughts or somebody is stuck on what other people are going to think or what other people are thinking or a particular person is thinking. Okay. Somebody is healing from family, family imbalances, trying to create justice within a commitment. Somebody here is unaware of some things they may need to heal which stems from family. Somebody here is walking away because they feel like that's the right thing for them to do. And I also feel like somebody is getting the commitment or contract that it is that they want as well within a connection or a job. So, Scorpio, I feel like as long as you're handling a situation with compassion and not coming at a situation with um, too much aggressive energy, you're on the right path. Because I really feel like somebody is unaware of... Like, I feel like somebody is unaware of something you're expressing or they don't know that something is at a stalemate or there is a blockage. Or that there needs to be healing taking place. 
surrounding something. Here it is bringing concern for you, Scorpio. Concern surrounding an older man is here as well. Just feel like somebody is like tunnel vision on getting their family back together as well for somebody here. Or a father figure. Could be doing this. Because I feel like I feel like somebody walked away. And they could have been pregnant too. Or growing something. They're walking away to grow something else. Or take an offer from somewhere else. Somebody could be getting good news. Expecting a child. Could be an earth sign individual. Or a Libra. Or a Taurus individual. Or you could be building a connection with somebody that are that are those signs. There could definitely be a lost commitment for sure. Like somebody dropping it due to a third party. What is this that Scorpio needs to let go and look forward from? What is this that Scorpio needs to let go and look forward from? Something that's causing abandonment. Something or someone that abandoned you, left you out in the cold, put blockages up, caused conflict for you and your finances or resources. Okay? Somebody who lashed out on you, Scorpio. It's telling you to let go and look forward from that individual. Let go and look forward from the past. We have the Six of Cups here. It's time to let go, Scorpio. I know it's hard, but it's toxic. It's toxic. It's codependent. Addictions. Betrayal. And you're wanting, or is you or someone else wanting to reconcile through this still. So either you or this other person is the one that has been stuck on coming back together, not realizing that there needs to be healing taking place for you to get out of this blockage or stalemate or stagnant place here. Mm-hmm. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Libra energy is showing up so far. There's new success for you to be looking for. You need to be looking for a new lover, new commitment, somewhere where you can express your ideas and the opportunities you want to go after. Okay? I feel like you're investing in more mental restriction. More deception, more juggling, more putting yourself in isolation because you could be trying to go after something that is is some stuff there you don't know. Okay. So this is telling you to walk away. Free yourself from the past. Free yourself. You can't even express yourself clearly here. Is that what you wanna is that what you wanna deal with? When you know the high priestess is coming out here. You know you already know what will happen here. If you take this offer, some of y'all this has to do with living in with somebody. See, a lost, a lost dream, a lost goal with the five of cups and the star. The devil here as well. 
there are many other possibilities you can choose but scorpio you're choosing to stay uh burdened bound overwhelmed because this person could just be your wish fulfillment or whatever the situation is could be just that we're going to go into the love section next so maybe more will come out there see you'll you'll have more clarity a newfound clarity more insight on yourself if you go into isolation right now it's time you got to rebuild from the ruins scorpio it's time to rebuild some of y'all dealing with a leo partner or somebody that's a leo or somebody around is trying to give you the strength or help or something like that i saw that like three times come out some of y'all this could be the new relationship that you're you're going towards could be with a leo some of y'all the leo is an old person Yeah, see, uh-uh. It's time for a change. And I feel like you're waiting on marriage or commitment from something that is dealing with a thief in bad health. No. This person is in bad health and you need to end it. So you need to let go and look forward from the past. Free yourself from the ex expectations that you're putting on this person because they're not going to live up to it. They're going to change. Okay, maybe in the past you were happy. Maybe in the past you overlooked the promises not being kept. Okay, because whatever it was, it was toxic. The devil was coming out on top of it. And it kept you bound and it kept you from expressing yourself or expressing yeah. your gift. Your gift here. It caused sadness, grief, loss. Every time you expressed your goals for the relationship or the marriage, something here turned into betrayal, illusions, thief, somebody taken from you, breadcrumbing you, cheating you, lying to you, causing more burdens, putting more burden on you or responsibility on you. Which was placing you in bad health. It would be too much to reconcile. And you already know this. It would be too much on you uh, mentally. For a lot of you. You just need to end it with this thief and bad health. Okay? So that you can... So that you can have balance. And communicate your thoughts properly. Okay. What is coming in love for Scorpio? What is coming in love for Scorpio, please? What is coming in love for Scorpio? I see something new here. What is coming in love for Scorpio? I see something new coming in, but you have to love yourself first. You got to learn how to love yourself first. See? Seven of Swords. I feel like somebody here is lying about a third party. Causing you confusion and despair. And you don't really like it, but are you saying something about it? There's definitely some deception going on here, either with a person you live with or that you're married to, or you're connected with in some type of way, or you were. That's still lingering here, Capricorn. Okay, somebody here regrets something as well from what I'm saying. It's 
definitely a third party. It's causing somebody to be nervous. Somebody here has so many options. Things are kind of moving slow for you, Scorpio. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're lying. They're a liar. They just coming in to get what they want, take it from you. And then when they when they get bored, they're gonna leave away. Somebody's definitely insincere with their offer towards you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you're gonna move forward with another Scorpio or Leo and slowly but surely grow something here. Yeah, Knight of, of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. This is who you're going to be with, looks like. And if they're not a Leo or Scorpio, they're definitely somebody that's going to help you rebuild from the ruins, like a whole new outlook on how you need to move forward. And they're going to have a childlike energy with them, but they're going to also be honest and transparent about what it is that they're seeing. So those are going to be the, those are going to be the traits. But this Sag over here, or this person you're reconciling with, they are lying. <laughs> are they a habitual liar? Yeah, a false person coming out. Despair. So somebody here is a habitual liar that you've been investing in. The wealthy man in the reverse. So they act like they're offering you something, but then they're going to be stingy. And the thief coming out again. See, you're going to go down a new path gonna be way better for you and you are gonna have to rebuild which is why we have the poverty here just gotta rebuild you know you don't want to be you don't want to be at a distance feeling imprisoned because i feel like that's what some of y'all are gonna end up choosing to do scorpio all right so Somebody has been breadcrumbing you, lying to you, wanting you to come back together or when you lived with this person, uh, they were lying to you, stringing you along or something like that or while you were married to them. You might have saw messages between them and somebody in the social group or friend group that you hang with or there could have been something on the socials like the social media or something like that. Maybe a sibling even could have like presented something. I do feel like you're going out and enjoying yourself and that is going to be good for you. And while you're doing that, that's when this toxic ass person is coming in trying to give their insincere offer when they're really not going to give you an offer anyway. The nine of swords, the four of pentacles and the false person. Somebody here has a guilty conscience. Very, very much in despair. They're trying to offer you something that they're not going to give you. So you need to be smart here. Be very smart. Move very slowly. And don't tell this person all your moves. I do feel like that's what's going to happen. And you're going to express that you don't really want to do that. You're going to move forward and leave this person in despair. You're going to move forward towards something that actually does make you happy, even if you do have to rebuild. So good job, Scorpio. And you're going to get away from this person. The tower and the three of uh, pentacles, like I said, are rebuilding. Now, let's look and see what the advice is for you. You do need to be looking to see what are the things that make you feel good. What what makes you happy. Okay? And that's in all aspects. Work, relationship, friends, family. Location. Especially your friend group, your social group. What's the advice for Scorpio, please? Some of y'all need to end some of the friendships you have. What's the advice for Scorpio? Overall advice for Scorpio, please. Once again... The tower and the death. Rebuild from the ruins. Let go and look forward. Some of y'all too stubborn and you're not doing it. 
the world. All these ending cards. Cards telling y'all to get out of bondage. That's the advice now. Okay. Be careful where you're spending your time, effort, and energy. Where you're putting your time, effort, and energy into. Make sure it's in a positive energy. Make sure you're free to express. And also, um, make sure you're receiving something from the situation. So what you're spending your time, effort, and energy into or what you should be doing, is it's a specific goal we're going to clarify. Some of y'all need to go around people who feel like family or a tribe, your tribe. Seek your tribe, the people that are on the, that are on the same page with you. Yes, and you're gonna be able to manifest more money, more finances, what you're looking for. So you need to take a new leap of faith into where your intuition is guiding you, so that you can receive more. With the King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles here, yeah, Six of Wands and Ace of Swords, definitely some success here if you take this advice. You know, it's up to you, though. You don't have to do what I'm saying. Once again, I'm breaking the deck, and the death in the tower is here again. Oh so it's repeatedly telling you to let go a little forward. You definitely are being left out in the cold, or you were left out in the cold. That's just the point blank truth. So somebody left you out in the cold? Okay, let that be the end. Go heal. Go heal from those abandonment wounds or trying to recreate situations where people were not there for you when you were a young child and you're recreating that in your relationships thinking that these people are going to show up different. But you're getting with the same people that abandoned you or the same energy that abandoned you when you were younger. You're having hope or an illusion that you're going to get what you want from it, but... That's not what's going to take place. What's going to happen is it's going to continue to be breakdowns because you're not doing the healing. Okay. Yes. Invest in strength. Gaining the strength. So like I said, there's definitely Leo showing up. So you need to go in that direction. Tap into that. Some of y'all have Leo in your charts. Okay. Or you have a Leo around you that's full of strength. Ace of Cups, they're going to tell you like it is. Oh, my gosh. They're free. They're free. This is somebody you know from your past. Helping you heal yourself because there's definitely a tower happening. See, there goes the Queen of Wands here. That could definitely be that person, Scorpio. Moving towards you. Helping you to learn how to take on certain burdens coming your way and how to overcome them. What to look for. How to see the truth. Stuff like that. Some of y'all need to invest in learning how to hold back when you're speaking. Or how to approach situations, like I said, with more compassion. Somebody here is more mature. You definitely, there definitely was some abandonment when you were a child. It put you in um, despair or something. And you could have had both parents there, but maybe they weren't there emotionally, or they emotionally neglected you. Yo, know, false person. Mm mm. Aries, the emperor here, lost person. A shocking truth about this person is going to come out and expose them to be the false individual that they are. So, like I said, put time, effort, and energy to grow something that's more strong. Or that could help you gain knowledge, that could help you mature, help you complete a goal, somewhere where you can express freely, learn how to be compassionate, uh, have a compassionate response to challenges rather than flying off at the mouth. 
or just approaching somebody with no like care or concern move towards a more positive environment where you can manifest things that you want new starts okay go towards your tribe that it has always been there to support you Now, when somebody comes in to express these feelings, you're going to have to leave them in despair because right now it's time for you to manifest recovery and healing. You got to manifest or create a new offer for yourself where you're rebuilding. Okay, some of y'all are doing cleanses when you're purging. You're purging yourself. This person is going to try to offer you like a whole bunch of stuff that's going to, it's like flashy or something like that. And it's going to cause a tower down the road if you go down this path. False person. Let's see what... Um, some of y'all, this is definitely an Aries. Aquarius individual here or something. Causing problems. Who's sending negative energy? Jinx and Hicks and Curse and Scorpio. Mm. Why are they doing this? What's the ancestor's message? What is the ancestor's message? Thank you. It's the remedy. What's the outcome? It's strength again. You're going to gain your strength back. In the outcome, you are going to be free. Some of y'all are going to go back, go to school, go go into school, become a doctor or a nurse or something. Or a head, the head of something here. That's going to be in the outcome. So the person that's doing this, that's sending negative energy towards you, This person is all over the place. This could be a uh, Pisces or Cancer. I'm picking up more so Cancer, but it could be whatever sign. Okay. Scorpio. The reason that they're doing this or somebody you've been with for seven years, the high priestess, the seven years here. Could have been dealing with somebody for seven years. You finally freed yourself. Or you found out the truth that they were cheating or flighty, betrayed you. The lovers and the ten of the lovers in the reverse and the ten of swords. This person betrayed you. It wasn't meant for you to go on a path with this person because the lovers are up, the lover is a uh, reverse. The ancestor's message is you need to learn how to step into the spotlight. Okay, it's your time to shine now. The remedy is the way the remedy is is for you to find balance, okay? You need to find balance. Some of y'all need to go out into nature. Find a happy medium. Something that just works for you. Do not let somebody else dictate how things need to go for you. Um, Scorpio, yeah, false person. Like I said. This person is going to try to ask you for reconciliation. You need to decline. Message of concern. Because the reason you need to decline is the free man, the six of wands, and the marriage is here. You're going to free yourself and go into a, a high level, a higher level of commitment with somebody that's giving you 
praise and recognition that you didn't get when you were tied to this person here that's not trustworthy. They chose to cut you off. Somebody chose to cut you off and become single so that they could get a win. Okay, cool. Now what it's time for you to do is let this person go. Let this person go get that win. Then you can go get you a win. Somebody freed themselves after seven years to go and receive great fortune. Okay, there was there was betrayal. They felt like they might have been on the wrong path with you. Okay, there could definitely been cheating, knight of wands, ten of swords, and false person. This person had a whole other life that you didn't know anything about. Now it's time for you to step out into the spotlight, go down a new path. It doesn't matter if they see this and they start to change up their actions towards you because at the end of the day, all they're going to do is reverse back to that stingy, selfish energy. Okay? Maybe this person needs to be alone. In your remedy, you're going to find a, a balance, a medium, a happy medium for yourself. Okay? You're going to do what feels good, that fills your cup up. You're going to gain more knowledge. Like I said, some of y'all need to go back to school. Or some of y'all need to get a higher education in something for what it is you're trying to pursue as well. That's going to make you stronger here. Or, or if it's not school, it's just something here that you're going to take action on. It's going to bring you the balance you need, the strength you need. And then this person is not going to be able to dictate what direction you go in. Okay? Because I feel like that's what they're trying to do. Somebody is trying to see what path you're going to go in so that they can throw a curveball um, with that. Okay? Because you're on the right path to another lover. This lover is upright. The other levels was the reverse. Mm. And like I said, some of y'all already in this. This is already happened for you when you left the way. Because a lot of times you don't need to read it. Some people don't need to read it because they already listen to their intuition. And do take and do and take the necessary actions making those brazen decisions okay cancer so i mean not cancer <laughs> scorpio all right scorpio so those were your messages until next time peace love and light